Hello everyone. Welcome back to Motion Recaps. Today we will narrate the first part of a comedy, drama thriller movie called Wild Tales with the name Pasternak. Watch out for spoilers. A woman named Isabel is walking hastily towards the airport counter check-in, where she gets her ticket which her company bought for her. She is on the plane trying to pack her suitcase when a man with headphones awkwardly looks at her. She doesn't pay attention, and she moves so he can pass. A man who is sitting near her stands up and helps her with the suitcase. His name is Selgata. The plane takes off. Isabel is reading a magazine when Selgata, who is sitting next to her, asks if the trip is business or pleasure. Their conversation starts and we find out that she is a catwalk model and that he is a classical music critic. Isabel tells him that her ex-boyfriend was studying classical music. Salgado is curious about him, and he asks her about his name. She tells him that he probably doesn't know who her ex is because he is not famous at all. He sent some of his works, but they never got approved and published. There is a visible shock on Salgado's face when Isabel tells him the name of her ex-boyfriend, Gabriel Pasternak. Salgado reveals that he was a president of a jury when Pasternak submitted his work and that he is responsible for his failure. Isabel tells him that was a horrible deed and that Pasternak was devastated by the Salgado's review. As they talk, a man passes them carrying the coffee, and he enters a cockpit. Salgado tells her that his work was terrible and that there was no chance for him. Then we find out that Isabel and Pasternak are on bad terms because of a tough breakup. All of a sudden, a woman who is sitting in front of him turns around and joins their conversation. She tells them that she was Pasternak's teacher in elementary school, and that he was a strange kid with issues. She is interrupted by a man who calls her name, and she remembers that he was one of Pasternak's classmates. The man laughs as he tells them that kids were really awful to Pasternak in the past. A man in a suit interrupts him, commenting how this is unbelievable because he was a manager of a place where Pasternak worked for a while. He refers to Pasternak as a psycho who had a problem communicating with customers and that he fired him because of that. Salgado stands up and asks if anyone else in the cabin knows Gabriel Pasternak. All of the people inside reply positively to his question. The situation gets more suspicious to Salgado when he finds out that no one bought a ticket by themselves. Suddenly, all attention goes to the scared flight attendant. She tells them that Gabriel Pasternak is the cabin chief of this flight and that he locked himself in the cockpit. She also tells them that they were on training together and that he asked her out once, but she refused. People are really concerned now. They hear a pilot saying something over the radio. Isabel admits to Aselgado that she cheated Pasternak with his only friend. Then she points at him it was a guy with headphones. Everyone is silent as they hear a beeping sound from the cockpit. And in the next moment, the plane starts going down. The movie ends with Pasternak's psychiatrist hurling to the cockpit door and trying to reason him but with no success. The plane controlled by Pasternak crashes into his parents' house killing them both. And that's it for today's movie. If you had a good time watching it, make sure to subscribe to our channel in order to see more interesting movie recaps.